There's a passage in the book of Romans that has been particularly intriguing for many years. It's Romans 8, 26, where Paul says that sometimes we don't know how to pray or what to pray for, but during those times, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with words that we just could not understand. Intriguing, isn't it? But that was brought home to me one day when one of our little girls, when she was about eight years old, eight or nine, she came in the house crying and she didn't say anything. She just came in crying and she was angry and she said, those old boys, those old boys, those old boys. And what I discovered was that those old boys would not let her play with them. And so she came to me and I simply put my arms around her and said, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. We'll get it straightened out. I think that there are times when all we can do is go to our Heavenly Father and say, those old boys or those old people or that old death or that old illness or that old cancer or that old heart trouble or that just whatever it is that's breaking my heart and causing me so much pain. And then at that time, the Holy Spirit simply embraces us and says, it's going to be okay. I'm still here. I still love you. And you're still my child. That's how I felt with Heather when she came in. Still do, as a matter of fact. Don't be afraid to go to the Father in your times of deepest need and pain. You don't feel like you have to say everything. Because when you don't know what to say or how to say it, the Holy Spirit of God says it for you. And your prayer is heard. Thanks for watching today's Minute Message. Don Howell.